Okay, Geek Head PH back with another podcast. Um, was supposed to record today the top eight teams in the West and the East. The, that would be a two-parter. But I just wanted to like air this out first. Um, big updates before a few days na start ang NBA. First, we have Kyrie Irving. I think uh, sa inyo, alam na rin, he's not gonna be playing. The Nets are moving forward without Kyrie Irving. He's not vaccinated. He won't get vaccinated. Ayaw niya talaga. Not sure if he's gonna change his mind, pero in regards to Kyrie, he, he's not. I have a hunch he's not. If he changes his mind mid-season before the playoffs, then fine, he's gonna play. But right now, they've decided to go on without Kyrie. So yeah, that's a game changer. So East, Milwaukee's happy. Miami's happy. Although, um, somewhat Brooklyn is happy na rin, somewhat because right now they are finally gonna gonna be more focused sa game and not with Kyrie. They should just trade the guy. Walay sa kaya sa ulo. Again, like uh, sorry, <clears throat> like what I've mentioned for the previous video, cancer talaga si Kyrie. Unfortunately, sayang ang galing. Anyways, and then next we have Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons finally reported sa Philly. Pumasok na siya sa opisina, ika nga. But it's just for the money. Yeah, the penalties for... Uh, he's penalized na for almost around a million dollars because he's not attending training camp. He's not attending practice. Ay niya maglaro. So yeah, pumasok na siya sa opisina. <laughs> Takot lang niya, hindi siya babayaran. He's under contract. Pwede siyang demanda, pwede i-term yung contract niya. That's like almost a million dollars na. So, if he's gonna play, I'm just hoping he plays all out para tumas yung trade value niya. Because he still he still wants out of Philly. So, yun na lang. Sa, well, sana makatulong sa Philly. I just hope he doesn't sabotage anything. Kasi if he sabotages the game, the play, it would affect his trade value then. So, I think he's gonna play well if he's gonna be played by the, the, by the Sixers. Pero ang awkward. Like, that's gonna be super awkward on the court with everything that's been said and done on both sides so long awkward and then finally wow this is this hits hard i invested on this guy slightly invested on him um a lot of people invested on him he was supposed to be the next big thing but it looks like it's gonna be luca um zion zion williamson well he's gonna undergo um or they're gonna re-examine his foot again Yung broken foot niya noong summer, which nalaman lang natin like noong media day na he broke his foot pala during a workout. Hindi nga sa game eh. Like workout or practice, hindi nga clear. And man, they're gonna re- re-evaluate him another two weeks. And looks like he's not gonna be playing at the start of the season. No timeline has been given for Zion. So yeah, this is, this is looking bad. I mean, it's just his third year incoming. And hindi pa siya nakakalaro ng full season as in full blast. Last season, may ilang games din siyang na-miss. First year niya, lalo na rookie season, he only played 24 games. And then this season, <sighs> yeah, nangyayon naman siya. Well, time for Brandon Ingram, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, and those other guys to step up. Pero nakaawa yung Pelicans. Ang, ang mahala sila sa mga number one picks. Like seriously. Davis din eh. Uh, he was injury prone during his first few years. Pero with Davis kasi eh. The, the build of his body, na, na, naayos niya. Pero with Zion, kasi if you see Zion right now, compare him to 2019 and 2021, he's so out of shape. Kasi nga, during summer, hindi na pala siya nakalaro ng 5-on-5 five five or training or serious workouts kasi he broke his foot. So yeah, I just wanted to air this out. If you're invested on these guys, with Simmons, do that talaga ako. I never invested in Simmons. Kyrie initially, pero when he left Cleveland, Medyo bumitaw na ako kay Kyrie. Um, Zion, Zion ang pinakamasakit kasi as an investor with NBA cards, I was so happy that I was I was able to pull a lot of Zions. Rookie year Zions. Pero yeah, yun niya. Whew, he might end up like Grant Hill. Um, I'm not even sure if he could end up like Grant Hill kasi Grant Hill had good a good 5-6 year run. And with, uh, with Zion, not sure if he's gonna have a good two or three years pa kasi nga his body is so out of shape. I, I knew na may hirapan siya mag-recover sa injuries kasi ang bigat niya eh. Hindi talaga siya pumapayat. His body isn't built for the NBA, for basketball. 
he's more more of a wrestler type bodybuilder type pero yung yung run and jump action ng basketball na lateral movement may hirapan siya sa, sa size niya so sayang sana maka-recover pero if I were him I just signed the rookie extension para sigurado na yung pera niya before po bumagsak total yung career niya kasi after this I don't know sayang sayang si Zion Williamson hopefully he recovers pero if it happens again at this early part of his career I, he's lucky if he's gonna last like another four years in NBA yun lang yun lang masasabi ko okay guys so stay safe tomorrow or the next day uh, in two days I'll be doing the top eight teams in the east and in the west right so stay safe thanks for listening bye guys yeah.